All right, good morning. We're getting started here in Prescott. A little chilly, a little chilly. It's about 31 degrees. Just checking out the truck one last time, but it's time to go get coffee. All right, we'll do one more walk around before we leave. Let's go get some coffee. So now we're just sitting here waiting for the 15 minutes to click down. Uh, slept good last night. We're having a good day today. I mean, we're going to get over to, uh, I don't think we'll get on the other side of Indianapolis, but probably like, you know, we'll be like on the west side of Indianapolis. So, <clears throat> like on the, on the east side of it, it was like 7... 740-ish or something like that. It's like, yeah, I don't know about that. So, that would be a, that'd be a chore right there. I got me a couple bananas. I'm going to put them in the, uh, make the shake. Banana shake. We got out of here in just a couple minutes. Get rolling. We're gonna stop at the uh, Petro in um, North Little Rock and get fuel. It's about a hundred miles from here. Only because it's a, the fuel is a little bit cheaper over there. So hey, get it where you can. The more you go up north, the more it's gonna cost. So we'll just go ahead and we'll fill the tanks up while we're here. I don't know, maybe we won't. Ah, who cares? We'll just we'll figure it out. So let's let's get going. Well, here we are. <laughs> We didn't make it that far, man. We we made it to we're at the Petro, North Little Rock. I was gonna get fuel, and on the way here, like it kept popping up. It said like D rate or whatever, and like it would come on, then go off. You know, sometimes it would stay on for like five seconds, then go off, like off on off. Like those couple times, it was like off on off on, and just kept. So I'm thinking. Like, there's got to be, like, a connection or something, you know? Yeah, sorry. Some guy was backing around. There's a guy on the other side over here. He Now it's getting to be a cluster over here. Some guy was coming around, and he went to do, like, this crazy turn and popped his airline. And he just blocked everybody. I was walking back to the shop just a little bit ago, and I told one guy, like, dude, you might as well just back up, you know? You, you're not getting through there because he, I don't know, there's like one way by the shop and he's got the whole thing blocked. Plus there's like an oversized load over there. You ain't getting through there. So now everyone's trying to get through here. Kind of, I don't know. So yeah, like on the way here, it just like kept flashing on me. Like flashing, I was like, it would pop on and pop off. Like usually if there's a problem, it would pop on and, and that's it's, it stays on. So I was like, me, I'm thinking, oh, there had to, it's got to be like a loose connection or something. As soon as I pulled in the parking lot, man, stop engine light and it derated me. And I, you know, I got fuel, got a little bit of fuel, barely got into a parking spot, man. It was, you know, but then now, you know. You know, it says that it's it's flashing and it says that, you know, I'm out of DEF, which I'm not. 
stop engine light. Yeah, so. so we're checked in with the Petro. I had to get a hold of the warranty company. And uh, that was a hassle. I'll be here about, I don't even know what time it is now. Hold on, let's see here. Um, come on. Twelve thirty. So we've been here well, about three or four hours anyway. Because we left over there about seven ish or so. Yeah, so we've been here about three hours, three and a half, four hours. And I just now got checked in with the shop. Because <laughs> of the warranty company. Cause they have to authorize everything. Cause if there's if they don't authorize it and I tell them to do something, then I'm it's out of my pocket, so so unfortunately, it, it, it it's a lot of nagging and nagging on the phone with these people. But uh, until until they authorize, yes, look at the truck, then 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 it's 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 theirs from there. So that's what I'm paying for. I'm paying for that extra warranty. So I'm glad I got that. I almost didn't get that, but uh, so now we just gotta wait for them to call. And, you know, Petro on a Saturday afternoon. Dang! <laughs> Luckily, there's a Kenworth place down the road, so if they need any parts. And then I called the Kenworth place just to make sure, and they said that they're 24-7 through the weekend. So, so you know, what is it, 12, 12.30, I said. So, yeah, I, I probably won't get in the shop till a couple, three or four hours. I, I'm just guessing. I could be wrong, but... Uh, we'll let you know. Well, finally, finally a little update here. We're, uh, golly, what do we have? Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening? It's Monday afternoon. And I'm finally in the shop. These guys, uh, I don't know if I said it before, but they, uh, they were a little short-handed this weekend because of, uh, <laughs> Everybody went hunting. Uh, yeah, hold on. Great. <laughs> She's just hanging out. So we're, um, yeah, they just got the truck in the shop. You know, let's see what's going on. Don't know. Emission stuff, you know? I can do some stuff. When it comes to emissions, you need that computer, you're, you're dead. So, so we're just going to go hang out in the lounge. Mess around. That's about it, really. Hopefully, you get some good news. I'll let you know. Last couple days have been a huge struggle, <laughs> man. So they end up. Uh, oh, first of all, let's go back a little bit. I forget when I last updated. I'm gonna say Saturday. So I came in here Saturday. We'll just start over. Saturday night, Sunday we're here. Monday they finally took the truck in. It's been a huge struggle between. Kenworth and the uh, warranty company. But I'm not even going to go into that. <clears throat> but, uh, so yesterday, Wednesday, got everything rolling. So we needed a dozing unit, DEF dozing unit, and a knock sensor. So about, about noon or so, finally got going on <clears throat> got approval to get it going and uh, so last night they got the parts on they got a regen take it for a test drive and they go like a long test drive man it's like an hour and they come back and computer one more time and everything's cleared you're good to go 
And, uh, because I had talked to these guys, it's like, I'm not going to be like one of these other drivers. There's been, since I've been here, I don't know how many, probably five or six drivers I've seen that left. I'm like, okay, you're good to go. Hour later, 15 minutes later, they're back, you know, same problem. So, you know, I don't want to say I was making threats, like, it's not going to be pretty if I come back, but it's not going to be pretty if I have to come back, man. I've been here since Saturday. It's Wednesday. Right now, it's Thursday morning. So, but last night, they were putting everything on. Got the dozing unit on, no problem. Got the knock sensor on there, no problem. And they realized that they're they're missing a heat shield. <clears throat> So, couldn't find out from whose negligence it was, and they couldn't recall if it was there or not when it came in, so they actually fit the bill for that. It was like 750 bucks, so we got lucky there. So, they had to overnight the part, and they said the part was supposed to be here between like, like 8 and 10, so, you know, you know around 11 o'clock, I'm hoping... To get this part on, and he said it doesn't take but 10 15 minutes to put it on. Take it for a drive, you know, we'll re the region take it for a drive. And we should be rolling, man. I, I'm worst case, man. I'm hoping by one, two o'clock, man, we should be out of here. We still got to get this load delivered, man. I, I'm surprised that you know the broker has actually been super cool about this, you know. And I told him yesterday. You know, if I can still get out of here today, I can make it down there tomorrow, so. So we got to get out of here, so that's my thing. And if I can't, and that's the other thing, if I can't make it there, you know, and they're closed on the weekend, so then we'll have to sit on it for two more days. <laughs> so. But hey, I'd rather sit in my truck than sit in this room Two days, two nights, this is this is where we slept, right here. <laughs> so, but last night we got to sleep back in the truck. He told me, he's like, just don't run the truck, you know. Yeah. It was cold. It's like in the 20s out there. But we got the EPU on there. We stayed warm, so we're good. So we're good. But truthfully, even if it was cold and the heater wasn't working, I would have still slept in that dang truck. <laughs> Lay, get back over here. Lay has been a sport too, man. But, uh, yeah. Oh, there she is. Hey, come here. You coming around here? But anyway. So, yeah. Hopefully, my next uh, update will be gone down the road. So, we'll talk to you guys in a little while. All right. We're back. We're back. It's it's only uh, 4:15 in the afternoon, man. So that so they replaced. So here, let me go through this. Drive to oh gosh, route. I know, I know, I know. We got we got some miles to throw down. So yeah, they. Uh, it's like you know you, you you can be a little ticked off, but they they. Kenworth, Little Rock did wrong, but they made up and did right. So they originally was the uh, knock sensor. Then uh, came back and that wasn't it. It was the, the knock sensor and the dozing unit. Got the dozing unit on there. And uh, they uh, put it all back together and found out that it was missing a heat shield. And they couldn't figure if it was their negligence or not of what happened, so they they paid for the heat shield, 750 bucks. And they had to overnight it, and that's why we were here today. Then once they were putting the heat shield on, they noticed there was a uh, something was cracked. They uh, um, Let me see what's on here. It, 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 
it was like a like a plug-in or something was cracked. It wasn't nothing major, but it, it, it could have led to something. And they had parts trucks, and they took the part off there, put it on the truck. No, no problem. And so they did all that stuff, got that going, put it all back together, hit the region, and at the very end of the region, it throws another fault for another another uh the other the other knock sensor and i told you know i wasn't gonna i'm not gonna go on and on and on about this because i'm we're, we're done with this now but i told them i was just like you know you know we i, I said why don't you just replace them in the beginning like i asked you know whatever so they paid for the other other knock sensor and that was like you know they paid the, the first one i had to pay for well somewhat you know the the uh the warranty deal pays for it and that was like 750 so they paid for the knock sensor was like almost 800 plus the heat shield it was like 750 plus that that bracket or whatever that needed to be replaced it was cracked and then i don't know how much that thing was let's say 100 bucks off that truck so you know they dropped you know 1500 bucks and they didn't even have to on top of the the original bill was uh just just right over 29.39.54 cents and I had to pay my deductible or whatever it's called, deposit. I don't even know. But that was, uh, my deposit was uh, $300 plus, you know, they don't, you know, the, the company doesn't pay for, well, not, not Kenworth, but the company, the warranty company doesn't pay for uh, shop miscellaneous stuff. So that was like another 120 bucks. But I think that was probably in a bracket now that I think about it. So I ended up paying for that somewhere. But yeah. We're, we're back at it just did my pre-chip everything's cool they they regioned it three times today and uh and they drove it for like an hour and when they brought it back they did another diagnostic on it and they said everything was clear so but everybody knows after getting out of the shop the first hundred miles is like so but we got uh like 875 miles so we got a before tomorrow night because I got to get this thing delivered before tomorrow night 11 o'clock and if I don't then I got to sit on it for Saturday and Sunday so we ain't got two we ain't playing around so so we're just going to end this video here and uh we'll catch up tomorrow and this will be day <laughs> so so day one so day two so two Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so so this was day two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> seven day, six, seven day. So tomorrow, day eight of the Michigan trip. <laughs> so, so yeah, Ugh, what a struggle, man. I hope, I hope I'm good. I hope we're good. We just get on down the road. So, uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, Kenworth, Little Rock. I'm glad I'm leaving. <laughs>